I'm Clinton the Genius, and today we are going to continue with tutorial 6 of our plotting in Python. Today we are going to plot the figure 8. Again, this will be a short lesson, and feel free to subscribe to my channel, in that way you kind of motivate me to keep making this lesson. Again, this figure 8 is based on three variables, x, y, and t, just like the hat curve. So, let's go ahead to just do it. So, First thing I want to do, I'm going to say t is equal to. I also always recommend that you type out this uh, this code yourself. In that way, you kind of get used to it. So it goes from zero to two pi mp dot pi, and let's generate 40 items. Actually, I'm going to generate 50 items or 50 values. Uh, now x is equal to sine t x is equal to mp dot sine t and y is equal to np uh, sine t sine t cos t sine t times cos t um yeah so we have x and y let's now create the plot so a plt the plot so you are plotting x against y again you can try to plot x against t or to, uh, x against t to see how it looks like so marker size let's make it equal to 10 maybe we may not even need this marker size and LW, you already know what LW is. LW is equal to 15 and color equal to blue. Okay, you can actually use any color you want, it doesn't matter. So PLT does show, and that is all we need to do. So let me just run it. Ah, of course, it's not defined. So I'm going to say NP dots because the, the trig functions are inside the NP module. So you can see that we have the figure 8. So this is how to plot the figure 8. As I say, this is going to be a short lesson. I recommend you change up things a bit to see how it affects the plot. And then we see in the next class where we are going to now be talking about subplots. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment for me if you have any.